Well guys, my fantastic free spirit 574 recumbent exercise bike. Let's go through it. Folks just came to the estate, we don't need it. Fantastic condition, and if you're looking for an e-bike that'll or a recumbent bike that'll uh, you know help you get your fitness pack, and a lot of people buy these because they've had knee surgery or want to rehab. This is the one. Nice low slung design, so it's easy to step into and uh, adjustable seat. That's where it's at. So um, let's hop on and check it out. So first of all, the first thing you're gonna notice is a nice wide seat. So regardless of the size of person you are, I'm, I weigh a couple hundred pounds and I can sit in this thing very, very simply. Um, feet go in the stirrups just like so. Now you can adjust, as I showed you earlier when you first saw this unit, you can adjust the seat forwards and backwards depending on what your um, desires are. But um, essentially speaking, I'm just gonna put it out where it is right now. So as far as riding is concerned, it's pretty straightforward. The controls are, you know, you can set the distance, you can set the odometer, you can have it on calories. So let's go on calories. So basically what it works is that you hop on, you start riding. Let's pretend you had a Big Mac. 500 calories, you want to work them off. So as you're riding away, the calories come off and it keeps track. Of course, you can adjust the tension with this knob here. And that's something you can do as your druthers. But a very basic, simple control that you can use. In addition, there are pulse monitors because one of the uh, settings here is pulse. I can't show it to you the whole camera though because you have to put both hands on each of the monitors, but it works just fine. What can I say? It's a great unit. And this unit here is powered by just AA batteries. It doesn't use very much power, so it'll last for a long time. And uh, the resistance is uh, self-powered because of the unit. And it's a, it's a great, well-rounded unit. As I was saying to you earlier, this is the bar that you can move just the seat based on your height and again it's a nice step through design if you don't want to have a lot of recumbents you're in a situation where you have to really lift your leg really high and this one you don't have to do that it's pretty cool um, the uh, unit will as well roll those end pieces they actually roll so you can roll it around if you need to move it and um, it's, it's very solid now I'm going to take some photos they're going to be higher quality in this video so make sure you study them but it really doesn't get any simpler than what I've described here, folks. If you had to buy this unit new, you'd be into quite a bit more money than I'm asking. And the difference between this one and a new one would be the box. There's nothing new under the sun when it comes to these things. And yes, it is true. There are recumbents out there that are quite a bit more money that'll have things like an iPod connector and stuff like that. But let's be honest, they just put that stuff on there so people go, ooh, it's new and interesting. And the reality is the same unit as it always was. So study the photos will be higher quality in this video. Um, you know, it doesn't get any better. Pricing will be firm. I don't play pricing games, but when you reach out, I'll get back to you almost immediately. You'll see it's exactly as I've described, and you'll just want to buy it. So like I said, folks, get a hold of me, and uh, I'll sell it to you. Thanks.